and it's rolling, so we can. Yeah, you can send whichever, okay. whichever side you Sorry. want. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. okay. Um, so, just introduction. Yeah, introduction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm actually in Singapore now with Fendi from Little Botany. Thank you for having us. Hello guys, I'm Fendi. Nice Hi. to meet you. You want to tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm Fendi. I'm the owner of Little Botany. And, <laughs> and I sell plants. <laughs> cut. No, I'm kidding. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to do a tour. This is one of his shop or is this a nursery? Mm. Would you call this? I'll call this like a, a hybrid farm. Shopsery. Yeah, Shopsery, yes. So he's shop got sorry. two locations currently and yes. another one along the way. So we'll show some photos on the screen or, or videos of what the other location looks like. Another one that is going to be your main attraction that is yes. still in progress. So I'm excited to come see it next time. So basically, he does. he's very active on social media. There's always a lot of things happening in, in his shop. There's workshops, there's events, and his, his feeds are really, really like positive, uplifting, and interesting to watch. So I really recommend for you to give it a follow if you haven't. And we are rolling. Hello. Hi, Fendi. Hi. Thanks for having me over. No problem. Can you tell us a little bit about your history with this shop and maybe what you did before? Okay, so I've been doing gardening for about almost 14 years now. Mm -hmm. And um, about four years ago, I started a business from home, from my dining table. Okay. So I got a farm because my mom chased me and my plants out. So okay. that's why we got this place over here. Yeah, this is insane. So you started with one location. Yes, we started with home and then to a farm in the northeast of Singapore. Yeah. And then we've expanded to the west mm -hmm. and we have an east side branch and one more coming up as well. In the, I'm guessing in the center maybe because you have east and west packed Back down. in the northeast. That's northeast. where my heart lies at, in Singapore. Yeah. Okay, really cool. And we want to talk a little bit about like the areas mm -hmm. around Singapore. There's a lot of farmland type yep. areas for agriculture. And Singapore just you know, is a tiny dot in the map and land is super precious. So the, the government is really, really making a determined effort to make sure there's greenery around the city. Mm -hmm. And you're obviously taking advantage of that by having all these locations. And of course, you focus on ornamental plants yep. and you sell primarily locally here in yes, Singapore. Correct. Yeah. So there's a mix of a bunch of variegated stuff here because I like variegated plants. Yeah. The one you see over here is a, it's a palm tree. It's called Adonidia merilii. Okay. Um, this is a variegated version of it. Um, it's just nice to have a palm tree and beautiful and it's very good. Yeah. yeah. Is it difficult to care for? Easy. It? It's like a regular palm, yeah. bright and direct. Um, we can take a bit of sun too, but um, with bright and direct, the, ye the yellows are much clearer. Have you seen a Chaco Manis? I'm not sure if you call it in Indonesia. It's a Pachura Aquatica. This oh, one. no, this one, sorry. This yeah, one. see, this is like an, an edible. They use it for vegetables in Singapore. So it's called Chico Manes or Androgynous Sauropos. I think that's how it's pronounced in the scientific name. Yeah. Yeah, but also variegated because why not, right? Yeah, but it's also edible. If edible. So we harvest it from time to time. Um, and then it's my favorite tree here. This is the Moringa tree. Okay. But it's a variegated Moringa tree. Yes. So then again, like, why not? So. And Moringa has really, really strong yes. antioxidants? Yeah, yeah. Do they um, have vitamins. Taste? So they have iron, calcium to vitamin C, B. I eat it every day, by the way. Okay. But not this tree because this, this is my baby. But yeah. I eat moringa every day, so I like. Guess. What do you? How do you eat it? Like crush it so with powder. So I eat it like a oil. powder. Um, it comes in a capsule form, and I eat it every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's the easiest way to eat. It's pretty bitter, so I I prefer to have it in a capsule, or I can cook it in your dish. Yeah. So you can just like munch off this. Munch off of yeah, this. Yeah. So I usually munch off the newer leaves because they are less bitter, like on oh. the top shoots. I'm a giant Jose. This is my big Jose baby Toronto. here. Yeah. I think I would like to say I'm proud that this might be the biggest one in Singapore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this cool. I've, been, I've had it since it was like this tall. Yeah. And then now it's like a giant. Yeah. And look at then the this is maybe not for sale because it's like. I know, this is my is baby. It? Yeah, it's not for sale. It's okay. my baby. Yeah. So this is your store, but yes. when you go. Uh, and explore a little bit further. There are other people's kind of stores and things. I see a Japanese type booth. Yep. So you guys can are actually open during reasonable yeah. so hours. So we open on Wednesday to Fridays and the weekends as well. Okay. Yeah. So um, it's a shared space. Um, we all have our different like fortes. Uh, some doing succulents, terrariums. Yeah. Uh, some doing platyceriums, and I'm I'm mostly doing indoor plants. Yeah. All right. So if you want to come on Wednesday until Sunday. Sunday. Yes, Wednesday Sundays. Cool, but today's a Monday. Monday. Yeah. So it's closed today. Yeah, for you, especially. I open it for you. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> and this is also very popular here, the Dufanbakia. Yes, Dufanbakia. Aglonima or Dufanbakia? Dufanbakia, Dagwensis, yeah. 
Yeah, I see a lot of uh, growers have this here. Yeah, I know you like Daffy Bank Kias too. I've yeah. seen yours. <laughs> Pretty nice. Are these like from local or do you like import your plants? So most of my plants are imported. Um, oh, wow. Some of the baby plants are from local so, um, sellers. So we try to support each other in the community. Yes. But in Singapore, majority of our plants are imported. That's yeah. just how it is. Because yeah. you cannot propagate and Yeah, we don't have much space. If you do, it will be very expensive. Yes, <laughs> it is. Of the land constraints. So you have Thai constellation going on here. Mm -hmm. These are your babies. I really love that you laid everything out like really, Ooh, really check wonderful. Check this one out. This uh, for the yeah. Lupinum. I was going to point it out yeah, earlier. It's so hard to get them to this size. Like, it takes years. Impossible. Like, a yeah. lot of people try to have them stake up and they it just won't. remain small. Yes, what is your secret sauce? What is your... My secret sauce is love. Okay. And lots of positive um, talking to this plant. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's just time because they need like at least two years to get to maturity. Just throw them on a plank on anything. They're very shallow roots that climb, so you yeah. need something flat for them to climb on. Okay, yeah. and you might actually have to really tie them in each node, maybe yes. to the moth pole. Very close to the to the pole. Yeah. So from my experience, you can try something flat surface. They yeah. prefer that, yeah. Yeah, because they really don't really adhere to the moth pole. No, easily. they don't. Yeah. So yeah, it can be, but they are so beautiful in this uh, larger form. Yeah. All right. You wanna, Do you wanna come in? Yes, please. Oh right. So that's more of my own collections on this yeah. side because, you know, I like to deco yeah. and have space a... to keep my plant. This is a Treviasa palmata. Okay. Yeah, so the leaves are quite Actually, unique. it's for a short plant, it's already got very big leaves. Yeah, that's how the leaves are. How is that possible? Was it just propagated as a... Uh, this is a cutting from a, from a bigger tree, so, yeah, they, so the you can root cutting. from cutting, yeah. Yeah, it's but it's like cutting. a top cutting. Yeah. Because normally if you have something that this short, yeah. this is, by the way, the pot is not like to the ground. No, it's just like this small. Yeah, normally the leaves are still small. <laughs> I but know, right? But I like it. It reminds me of snowflakes, you know? They're actually really, really beautiful, yeah. you guys. And they do well indoors? Uh, right indoors, right indoors, yeah. Yeah. And they are fast growers, easy. P any past uh, issues with these? These guys, rarely. Maybe once in a while, a spider mite, but not okay. so much. They're quite easy to care. Yeah, yeah, just do your pest maintenance. The same way that you do with yeah. all your plants. All, all plants need maintenance anyway, yes. so no exceptions there. And some of the uh, Bilitai. Yeah, they are my so. favorite phyllos, easy and yeah. And good starter plants, you know? They're kind of all over in Singapore, I've noticed. Even like in landscaping, we already yeah, see a lot of They can take full sun, you know, for an, an, yeah, an aeroid. Really quickly, let's give yeah. Hoya some, some love. Is this, what is this, Sulawesiana or something else? I'll be honest with you, you don't I don't know. It's a gift, but it's really nice. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I think it might be a Sulawesiana that is Could not sun-stressed. Yeah. And you have the Rattusa, which is actually very impossible for me to grow. But yours is like, is it I easy know. for you? It's so hard. They get millibucks all the time, just almost yeah, simil yeah. similar to Linearis. Yeah. Thirsty Hoyas, water daily, yeah. and lots of pests. So not recommended for yeah, indoors. Yeah. But they can also uh, get overwatered easily. But in a big pot, like, like yeah. a, they can drink water every day when yeah. you have it so lush. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is uh, very cute though, but again, yeah. Not mm. In our I have a feeling they also like maybe cooler climates. Yes. So that's like nice. Similar to Linearis, yeah. And this right here, this is your my like, baby. It's yeah, uh, your whole Malomina it's really, really Yeah. Look at that. So you got it smaller. I bought it. I, I mean, I didn't buy it. It was a gift a long time ago. About this small, maybe like this size where the baby is. Okay. And um, yeah, this is about three years old, I would say. Okay, yeah. very cute. And then back there, this is like your shop front that everybody yeah. knows. Like if you post this on Instagram. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the, I would say the shop front and slash cash cashier, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you set this up and like some of the choices with furniture and... and okay, so most of our furniture are refurbished. Like I said, I, pre I like to give things a second life. Yeah. So we don't want to waste anything. We refurbish all the old furnitures. And I like the rustic vibe. So um, yeah, a lot of rustic furniture here. Yeah. Uh, we built and chose this color because I want something that's a bit uplifting, peaceful and serene. Yeah. So we, put, we picked this like um, kind of blue. Okay. And you can see a lot of vintage furnitures and, yeah. and things with character like an old TV because why not, you know? why. Yeah. Why waste it? You can make it to something else. And this is actually a door from Bali okay. that we made to a table and, and so combine it with a uh, sewing machine um, table, yeah. Like you have all those tables and shelves as well. Yeah. Very rustic. And someone needs to do this in like a terrarium. It would be so cute to have like a I lit know, up, yeah. like an 80s TV. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Really quickly also mm. while, we're, while we're still on the topic, how yeah. do you do plant care? Like what is your plant care here like? Plant care here? Yeah. So weekly pest maintenance. Um, there's another pain coming. Sorry. <laughs> so 
over here, um, I do pest maintenance uh, weekly. Mm -hmm. So we use cedar oil. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Because cedar oil is very safe to use because um, you have animals and people coming over. Yeah. Um, and it kills the pests um, the same way a neem oil does. Okay. Uh, just that it doesn't burn the plants in the daytime if you use cedar oil. And it yeah. smells really nice, like it's, like it's like essential oil. Okay. And I water this air daily because um, it's a very windy space. We're on a hill. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we, we fertilize with like organic fertilizer every month. Uh, we use um, worm, me worm meal bloom from superworms. So yeah. we actually harvest them and then use it for our plants. Yeah, we try not to use chemicals in our, our plants. So yeah. it's like a worm compost? Yeah, it's similar to worm compost, but it's a cleaner way of doing it, yeah. So you're quite thoughtful about your plant care as well? Like uh, yes, because we are bringing it to our homes and I want to make sure that it's safe for, for all our animal friends too, you know? Yeah. And what is this one? It's a big nonia arguabilis since I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. This is a little hook that can hook on your plant. So, okay. And these yeah. expand in size at some point or not? Yes, once they hook onto something, they start expanding. Yeah. yeah. A bit like the scissors, this color. Yeah, it does do like scissors or piper kind of vibe. Yeah. yeah. So most of your clients are indoor houseplant people? Uh, we try to target indoors because like, if you're targeting outdoors, then you have landscape companies to help you out with that. Yeah. But uh, most people, they don't target indoors, like indoor for our Singaporean homes because yeah. we don't have much light and we live in apartments. So these are mostly apartment friendly plants. What are like some of your best sellers here? Is it like the more common plants or? Um, so we take pride in trying to find like uncommon or unique things that you don't really see in the market. We, we don't really follow trends, so if something is interesting, like for example, a variegated fern, you know, like yeah. it's, it's, it's not really super rare, yeah. but it's uncommon and it's quite affordable. Yeah. So you want to bring it to a more affordable range in terms of um, indoor gardening and um, reaching to the regular Singaporeans, you know. Yeah. So a lot of aglonimas, these are easy to care and they're very colourful and vibrant. Yeah. So, and all like, like something like this, for example, you don't, you, don't, you don't see this often, it's like an oxalis family. Oh, they call it the okay. fire fern. Yeah. So they close their lips at night when they sleep. Cute. Um, and yeah, it's easy. Something, yeah, they're easy. Okay. Do you also give a lot of plant care tips to people? I have a, yes, I do. So we are always in touch with Instagram. So everyone's yeah. always messaging me like, hey, where do I put this? So I'll tell them to send me a photo of your house and I'll, I'll be circling in a photo. So you can place them here, you can place them here. And then they'll be like, okay, thank you. So that's how I help them nice. to find places for their plants at home. Yeah. And if they are confident, then they become loyal customers and they also do yeah, get more I plants. feel that a lot of people are willing to learn as long as you take time and patience to teach them. Yeah, correct. And what is this one here? Very cute. So this is an Adinia Lindinia. It's a hybrid. It's a, it's a codex. Yeah, it's a codex, but um, yeah, they're quite tasty actually. I water them daily. And this is also, uh, I forgot what this is, but... Uh, Aristolochia leucinora. Yeah, also yeah. popular. And it's like very easy or is this difficult for they need, you? They need full sun actually. So the, the full sun and daily watering. So you can see the, the tweaks here. So this was from my previous place. Yeah. Um, it gets to like this. Oh, this is the main yeah, stem? I thought this stem. was like a thing that... No, so oh, wow. they get to this shape about five years, they get to that. Yeah. yeah. I hear they are quite impossible to propagate. Yeah, so to propagate this, you have to cut a really long stem uh -huh. and then um, make sure you have uh, many, many notes and then just put them down, like okay. lying down on the soil. So you get as much use as possible. Okay, and humidity or not? You don't... Um, our regular humidity in Singapore, I yeah. think it's about very, very humid. <laughs> okay, so you don't need a prop box? Um, you can if you're indoors, but if you're outdoors, you just dump it in the side where you get full sun and daily watering and you, they start rooting up. Yeah, and this is the Biletai X uh, uh, yes, Araba uh, font, yep. say. We call it the uh, duck font. Because sure. nobody can pronounce the second name. Ata four point. Ata I don't know if I say that correctly. <laughs> and I think these are just like anthuriums. Yeah. So um, these are starter anthuriums that you want to try because anthuriums are not, not they're a bit fussy. So we yeah. try to get the easy ones to yeah. put to care for. We've got some blue oil fern here. Yes. Trending uh, plants right now. Sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, on the outside, we'll see later it's a bunch of Sansevieria because I love Sansevieria, they are yeah. my first love. Yeah. Even though they changed to Dracenia, I still call them Sansevieria. <laughs> this uh, one, we talked about this earlier? Yeah, or this is a Sonorilla, it's still an SP. Okay. Uh, Sonorilla SP, they grow in the um, forest floor yeah. and they flower all year round. Okay. Yeah. This is a, this is a decent dark here, right? Yeah, so this is a hybrid that my friend accidentally made back in Thailand. Okay. So it's like very glowing on the front, but yeah. in the back. Oh, it's like a normal, yeah. yeah. That's a reverse, it's like it should have been the back. Yeah, maybe. So like when you drop it, you can see it from before. Oh, <laughs> what is the name of the, what do you call this? Um, yeah. I have no idea, it's a, it's a hybrid. So it's a Diaphobastia, could be a Daguensis hybrid. Okay. We're not sure which He didn't the... name it yet. 
No, no, maybe I should name okay. it Moonlight, maybe. Moonlight, but everything, everything's named Moonlight. I know, so boring, right? Yeah. Maybe Glow, 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 glow in the Dark. Yeah. <laughs> glow in the Yeah, so that's a bad reverse. reverse. <laughs> reversa, different Bakia Reversa. I don't know, we're just <laughs> fooling around. I see some Hoyas here. Are they popular in Singapore? or? Uh, yes, so Hoyas used to be like an anti plan, but then they went mainstream because um, of the COVID. Boom. Yeah. So now people are more aware of Hoyas and, and how they flower and this flower smells good and yeah so we bring some starter Hoyas for people who want to see them flower. So these big ones are good because they are mature, they flower easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then you have Thai constellations here. Yeah, these are still propagate. So these are still rooting. Oh, okay. Yeah, they came from a shipment and they were not well, so they are rooting now. Do you do any propagation yourself or not? We do. So there's some propagation out here. I mean, it's not much. Um, yeah. Usually for certain plants that you cannot, they're not easily imported, I propagate them. Yeah, this is cute though. What are these? Yeah. Like, I see a little buds growing in them. That's, yeah. And that's so, very exciting. Yeah, it's a variegated yeah. sea hibiscus. Like, I, I like them small. So that's, that's for small. Cute. Yeah. So, yeah. Some palm plants. trees. I love palms. Yeah, these are babies still, right? These are fishtail palms. Coyota mitis. Do they stay small? No, right? I know, they get big eventually. Yeah. Okay. And this is the, the, the palm we saw earlier. This is the baby, the baby one. Yeah. And they are only propagated by seeds? In, yes, in seed grown or offshoots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, these are like some of my personal collection. I like cute. These are all local made pottery. Extremely cute. And we love local made stuff. So, and yeah. it's all my babies too. Not for sale. I put a lot of sign. Oh. So people stop grabbing it. Since one year, one year, one year. Oh yeah, because they're so cute here. <laughs> yeah. Love so you them. collaborate also uh, with a lot of local potters. Yes, correct. Uh, as yep. far as I can, uh, I notice. This is a beautiful Hoya. Let me see. Hoya mm. Hoshkalia. Yes, correct. Variegated. This is the um, uh, sil uh, Croniana mm. silver. And we, we talked about this earlier, but you yeah. have more in the, in the front. Yep. But this is uh, um, Got some Rio, Rio's climbing all over my structure now. Yeah. Beautiful. And the, co the color, I quite like that off mm. green and the, and the green. Um, yeah. yeah, and more trees. I love trees. Uh, these are actually edible. This is called uh, Didosculus aconitifolius, yeah. also known as spinach tree. So this uh, edible herb in Thailand. Uh, they grow well indoors on bright indirect light. So if you want a tree that you can keep indoors, um, they do, and they kind of look like papaya at the same time too. I, I've been calling them variegated papayas. They're not, right? <laughs> They're not. Okay, sorry. Now we have the correct ID. Yes. Yeah, but easy to grow actually. Easy, right? yeah. And easy to propagate. Yep. So there's some over there. You know, yeah. see all these sticks. I just yeah, cut yeah, them. Yeah. Propagate. You just cut them and in, in like. Yeah. So edible. usually about sixty percent of them will survive. But no leaves, cutting. or did they have leaves that fell off? Um, I, I cut away the leaves because the leaves are gonna fall off anyway. Oh. And you'll see new shoots coming out afterwards. Yeah. Interesting. So what, like, do you like house plants? Do you like trees? Do you like aeroids? What is your so, or every everything? I just like the idea of having a tree in your house, and not many trees can be indoors because yeah. you know they like full sun. So we try to find trees that we can be kept indoors. Yeah. Um, like for example, like a ficus snowstorm, they call this. Okay. Oh, uh, these yeah. are still babies, they're still growing. So yeah. you can see the variegation. Let me show you. I like this camo print. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they grow well indoors even though they are trees. So I'm more targeted to looking for trees that you can keep indoors. So you kind of have like nature in your homes. Um, so all these like tiny trees. Yeah, we have a, this uh, bonsai yuzu, yeah. philanthus mirabilis. It's one of the best small trees you can keep in your homes. Oh, but it does it get into a tree size? They do quite, quite big, but oh. have a very fat codex that comes along with it. It'll take years though. The piper. Piper, very yeah. needed. Call it Siri here. Yeah. Look at this crazy white. Yeah, it's committing suicide. <laughs> but hang on, what's going on here? What is going on here? So this is actually a croton. Yeah, but how is it? Yeah, so they, yeah um, it's crazy hybrids that make these little cute dangling yeah. things. I love what it. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Why not, right? Super freaking cute. They yeah. look like Nepenthes. It's trying to be a Nepenthes. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So, I like all these weird, wonderful plants. Where so. are they from? In Thailand? Yeah, or? they're from Thailand as yeah, well. There's quite a lot of croton hybridizers in mm. Thailand. They really love it. They call it. it like mother and daughter plant or something because of the... Like they call it mom and daughter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not oh sure why. Oh my gosh, incredibly <laughs> cute. This is cute uh, Hoya. Yeah, Hoya and Bricata. Uh, and a uh, variegated pandan, if you like, cool. if you're a machi, but you want yeah. to be a bougie machi, you can get a yeah. variegated pandan. It actually looks like a d uh, dracaena or something. It does, right? right? But yeah, edible. I, I've used it for cooking before. Okay. Yeah. That's an expensive meal. Yes. <laughs> and then my giant billy, I've grown yeah. this for about four years from a tiny little baby. Okay. Um, they are my favorite filo because they are easy yeah. and they are majestic when they're huge. So I can't even touch the top leaf, you know, like it's too yeah, high. It's, yeah, it's too high up there. Get the size. Yeah, love them. 
and a dark, I don't know what this one is, it's dark. This is a papilluminum. Yeah, but this yeah. is quite quite dark. For mm. a... So, uh, it's a new leaf coming up, which I won't touch because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you shouldn't, but let me quickly come yeah, around. Mm. Yeah, this is Dorstenia. Yeah. Dorstenia, very cute, but I want to show you some of the, the, the plants on the table. These are like yeah. quite interesting. So these are all my babies too, like, yeah. um, they're not for sale, but yeah. you can touch them and see them. Yeah. Um, I've got a bit of... You have this at home too, right? No, what is this? A tree? No, I don't think oh. so. What is, what is it called again? Jacaranga. So it's a tree with purple flowers. Oh no, I Still don't... a baby, yeah. So yeah, you are quite obsessed with uh, little tree type yeah, plants. Yeah, And it's cute, like... Um, uh, this is uh, Philodendron Belmax. Yeah, and it's like going to climb on your structure yeah. soon. And it, they, where's that baby the tiny dwarf? little... Yeah, yeah right here. This one is Dwarf Billy TA. Oh my yeah. gosh. So they say small. They stay small forever. So they just have offshoots that you can separate them. Um, so so most of the plants are tissue cultured, right? So yeah. these are actually a batch that um, originally was a was a failure in the tissue yeah. culture system, but um, they just became dwarf. And I thought, you know what? Why waste them? We can actually keep them. And yeah. they, they, they are great for terrariums too. So if you're like, yeah. you have terrariums, you can put all these tiny like dwarf plants in it. Yeah. Correct. Or if you like have a, a little office like yes. cubicle and you yes. want an aeroid there. Or if you, have, if you do have space, yeah, you can get all these tiny bits. And it's like this little, it's the pots too, you know? Yeah, these the are pots that make pots. a difference. Yeah, handmade pots. I yeah. love hand pitched pots, they look very rustic and, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And this little <laughs> angry lady, I think yeah. this is like, I don't know, is it from a. This one? Yeah. I, I made this actually. Oh, you did? Yeah, so it's supposed to be an elf but it turned to a demon looking elf. <laughs> Yeah, I actually thought this was like some character. It's not it's no, something it's, from your head. Yeah, no. just like um, freestyle. And we discussed this earlier. There's a flower that coming out soon. Yellow flowers. Yeah, and this one is? This is Jatropha. Okay. It's also an edible. This is a um, tamarind tree. Very okay. good tamarind. Yeah. And I love this. This is actually a, a Plumera family as well. Yeah, I saw this yeah, in Thailand. So Plumera filifolia. Yeah. Very hard to keep. But yeah. can they flower like a plumeria? Which so far, it hasn't flowered for two years, so we'll see. Okay. Yeah. They can flower. I, I think I saw it in one of my the, my sh my episode in the Lana uh, exhibition. Mm. They China. do flower. They do flower. It's ridiculous because the flower to leaf ratio is insane. <laughs> insane. Yeah. <laughs> Aglaonemas here, more hoyas, and there's yeah, little the, the fishtail. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's impossible to keep yeah. alive. They, they are thirsty and they like a bit more cooler climates also. Very cool climate. So this is the broguet variety where there's a bit of splash of variegation on the leaves. Wow, this is quite amazing actually. Yeah, so and bamboos are some of the fastest growing plants in the world, correct? Yes. So this is a variegated bamboo. Yeah. Um, very thirsty, you have to water them daily. You can see they drop a lot of leaves yeah. and you don't water them. So and it's from underwatering a bit, right? Yes, underwatering. Are they easy to propagate bamboos? No, you can't propagate them. You kind of have to get the shoot and yeah. separate it from below. Yeah. You can't cut them. If you cut them, they just die out. Yeah. Yeah, and it's impossible to separate it when they're like this. Yeah, Take we tried. Out. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Not worth it. <laughs> but normally, how, are they grown from seeds or how are they? I'll be honest with you, I do not know. I got them when they were babies and then they just grew into this giant beast. Yeah. yeah. Um, some alocasias. Also known as spider mite magnets. Yeah, so, I can see these yeah, are spider mites, yeah. I think. Spider mites. So yeah. um, it's good to have them, sort of, because they kind of attract all the spider mites to be at one space. Oh, yes. Um, they don't go to my other plants, they usually jump on at my alocasias. They are sacrificial plants. Yeah, but yeah, it's just that um, it's just very windy here. So when windy and dry spaces, the spider mites thrive. Yeah, they do. Yeah. This is actually quite a nice angle, too, to look at your shop. These are basically like plants like for them to just add to the cart when they walk past um, the shop. So these are more of the, I would say like the the low range plants that you can purchase like from up to $18, from, from $6 to $18. Yeah. So some propagation, some aeroids, sensoveras. I love sensoveras. This is from Thailand probably, right? Mm. Because I saw them, them there, but it's very expensive in Indonesia. This one? Very expensive, yeah. For real? Yeah. Still? Yeah. This is like Maybe. $6 here. Oh, a st one strand in Indonesia like this long, it, the last week when I checked it was $35. For one strand. Yeah. It's a heteracium. Yeah. There's green on green variegation. Yes. I saw it in, for, for the first time in my life, I saw it in Thailand mm -hmm. to a few months ago. I never saw it in Indonesia since. That's why I think the seller was opportunistic, like he knows that nobody else has it, so it's, it's expensive. Oh, no. But yeah. It's $6 here. So, oh. um, yeah, and then snake plants. I love snake plants. Yes. Yeah. Um, Sensibirs are my first love. Oh, really? And they are still like have a special place in my heart because 
back when I didn't have space, I could only keep these guys and they thrive very well in shade yeah. um, and also fully indoors. Yeah. So I try my best to find like different variations of um, the snake plant family. Yeah. Especially those in variegation like this. This is a revert like the reverse, usually the greens on the center. Yeah. But this one the yellow or the gold is on the center instead. Yeah. 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 You you can can yeah. Uh, did they grow fast for you according to you? They do actually. So if you give them a more dense mix, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, a, a more watering, um, they actually grow quite fast. So most people underwater their sensibilities. Oh, okay. Because yeah, you give them very draining mixes yes. and then you don't water them, they actually grow very slow. Oh. So if you actually give them draining mix and water them like every three to four days, yeah. they actually grow quite fast. Yeah. I thought they can uh, get, like they can rot easily. If you Not if you get the right mixer. Yeah. Okay. And also the right conditions. You gotta give them yes. maybe a bit of airflow and yeah. light. I actually have some Sansevieria episodes coming out, some rare episodes. I'm gonna link that. Oh, that's so exciting! I'm coming yeah. to watch it. Um, <laughs> some more pipe. Um, so this is. Um, this is the Piper or not? Yeah, no. Piper Silveticum. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Some, some they have a little bit of a pinkish tinge yeah. to it. Yeah. And these guys, they used to be so popular and expensive. Unfortunately. Mm, yeah. yeah. I mean. Um, to me, they've always been like, Affordable. I would say a mid-range to low-range um, pricing plan. Yeah. Yeah, they're cute. They're like, I would say like a more bougie version of a money plan. This used to be like $15 for one leaf in Indonesia. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. I well, think I bought it That was for, during the COVID time. Yeah, I bought it for about $40 for one leaf. Ouch. Okay. But it's Ish. so cute. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like an experience. <laughs> and everything is like a sales try, propagate and like, sometimes my grandma put her plants here too. Oh, cute. And then we just help us. Okay. So I make some money. <laughs> so do you come from a family that like like plants? Um, no, actually, just me. Um, your grandma. Uh, my grandma from my dad's side. I didn't know she was into plants until only recently. Okay. Yeah. So we collect our pots. You know, our customers are really nice. Yeah. They follow our movement of recycling and reusing. So we get pots donated to us okay. every week. You know. Yeah. So it gets higher and higher, but I keep using it for my plants. Yeah. And it's good because until today, like I think we use about twenty thousand plastic pots. Whoa. And it's all been reused, you know, we've never purchased anything new. Yeah. How do yeah. they drop off the pots? Like, do they so when they come up to the buy plants, they will drop off all the pots that they got from me previously. So some pots have been recycled through many owners and okay. come back to me. Okay. You know, sometimes I do write names on it yeah. uh, and we get it back to, with us. So, yeah. yeah. Can you see the view here actually? Yeah, can, yeah. can we go back? Yeah. So this is going to be a bar and eating area. Yeah. And then down here you can see all the trees that um, my neighbours are using for landscape, landscaping. Okay. So it's also a, a space for them to store their trees and their plants yeah. for landscape purposes. This is a nice footage to have because we are in a very urban yes. city with this. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably a good spot for a rave party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a mudslide. If you know. you're thinking about <laughs> a rave yeah. party. So yeah. they store the soil here for the trees. That's why that's what the space is for. Ah, uh, yeah. see. So yeah, Singapore, you said they're trying to be sustainable in its own uh, food security. Yes, uh, so the government tries, or wants everyone, including residents, to try to grow their own fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Um, it's a plan that they have for the future. Yeah. So they're converting rooftops to any available spaces to grow food. Yeah. Um, um, we are still starting now, but um, there are long-term plans by the government, yeah, which yeah. we will see soon. That is cool. Yeah, it's really nice that the Singapore government is really allocating all this space and finding opportunity. And I know there's a lot of landscaping services in Singapore. Mm, yeah. And a lot of buildings like hospitals, offices, they actually engage with these businesses. Yes. So that's like a nice flow of plants they're importing. Yes. And so there is a system that kind of benefits everyone. And, yeah. and it's it's really good that the government is, is promoting this, this lifestyle. Correct. Yeah. And importing plus is not a problem here. It's like super easy and... You have to do it properly though, like people yeah. know, obviously. But um, because, I guess because of our country, you know, like yeah. um, it's easy for people to be done and, and there's yeah. no... Everything is a proper channel, so it's very Correct. fast and easy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's easy for you to start business in Singapore if you want to. It's just yeah. the passion, like you have to have a passion and love for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've never seen any government, well, maybe except Thailand, mm. that really supports the agriculture sector and the house plant market mm. uh, as much as Singapore. So that's really wonderful to see. I hope other governments are taking note. <laughs> so I'm sure they will. Yeah. yeah. Sure they will. All right, Fendi, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. This episode. I will leave you to it now. Bye-bye. Thank you all for watching too. See you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.